So on May 26th this year, we got the death of the fourth person to walk on the moon named Alan Bean. And what's interesting about this death is that on April 5th this year, I even documented on my blog how I thought that we we're going to get the death of another astronaut in the moon missions. And I'll, I'll just show it right here. I got a feeling that another astronaut in the moon missions will die this year. Possibly Fred Hayes or one of the Apollo 15 members. And I said that because we had just had Michigan lose in the national basketball or the college basketball tournament. And all of the astronauts in Apollo 15 had ties back to the Michigan University. But just want to show you the date here. It was on April 5th. So I talked about an astronaut and the moon missions dying on April 5th. And here we are a little over a month later, we get an astronaut of the fourth person to walk on the moon. And if you're new to this channel, check out some links in the description because I'm going to talk about why I thought this. And, you know, it's also gematria, which is the practice of coding numbers into words and phrases that stems back to Jewish mysticism, which is called Kabbalah, which is the belief that God created the world by merging the letter with the number. And there's other ancient, you know, spiritual things that are going on that we're not told about today. And there are people who understand this knowledge and they are scripting our mainstream media with this. Our sports leagues are scripted this way. Our told history is all scripted with this system. So please check out the links in the description. And this isn't the first time that I've talked about things that happened. And the reason that I was, I, I thought it might be Fred Hayes Jr. was because Fred Hayes Jr., his birthday is November 14th, which in 2016 was the same day as the closest supermoon since the year 48. And just before we got that supermoon, we had the Indians in the World Series Cleveland and Gematria equals 48. They haven't won a World Series since the year 1948. Also, Donald Trump won the election just before that. Donald Trump equals 48. The word wall equals 48. The Mexican-American War ended in the year 48. Right? Tons of other 48s. Kim Jong-un equals 48. Russia equals 48. Lots of other interesting 48s going on right now. But... It was all about the moon symbolism, and I was talking about the moon space theme back then, and I was talking about Purdue University and the death, or Eugene Cernan, and also Neil Armstrong, the first and the last to walk on the moon. And then just a couple weeks later, we got the death of John Glenn, and then Eugene Cernan died in January, and this was all in November that I was talking about it. And... It, it's all synced up to the sports championships as well. John Glenn died 175 days before the NBA Finals that year, last year. And the word NASA equals 175. Golden State won the championship. Golden State equals 175. Right now we have tonight is Game 7. Golden State versus the Houston Rockets. Houston Rockets equal 175 in Gematria. Anyway, another reason was because we got the story about the baseball player named James Paxton who had the eagle land on his head at the Twins game. And think about it. When Neil Armstrong walked on the moon, the lunar module was called the eagle. The eagle has landed, right? And this eagle that landed on his moon, supposedly the name of the eagle is Challenger, which is another lunar module that landed on the moon. So you know they were showing us these sports stories and it was showing us something to do with the moon yet again. And his name's James Paxton, and we had the death of Bill Paxton, the actor who played Fred Hayes Jr. in the movie Apollo 13. So that's why I brought up Fred Hayes, because he was connected to the moon. Possibly he will still die this year. Who knows? But the reason that it's, this is interesting is because now we have the death of Alan Bean, who was on Apollo 12, and Apollo 12 just so happened to launch on November 14th of 1969. What are the odds of that? On Fred Hayes Jr.'s birthday, Apollo 12 launches, and now we get the death of Alan Bean, the astronaut that was born on that day. So there's something special about this day that we're supposed to see. It's also Prince Charles's birthday, 
If Queen Elizabeth dies, he'll become King Charles III. He was born in the year 48, even. And the kings during the English Civil War were all named James. King James, or James II equals 48, and James I died at the age of 48. So anyway, let's, let's look a little bit more into this. I talked about how it's connected to sports. And notice he dies at the age of 86 on May 26th. What are the odds that in the Golden State Warriors game, the one without Chris Paul, the Warriors on the same day lost with 86 points, the same day that 86-year-old Alan Bean dies in Houston? You know, just think about it. Every single year when a sports championship's coming up, there's all kinds of stories of death and everything else that are connected to the teams that have a chance to be in there. We even had like the Santa Fe shooting that was near Houston. You know, oh, the odds. So let's go back and look at this post here. I noticed that if you go from the day that Apollo 12 launched, it was the 48th anniversary even, the 48th anniversary of Apollo 12 launching, to the day that Alan Bean died, it's six months and 12 days, which is a big number that we've been talking about a lot recently. With North Korea, that's the day that Kim Jong-un and Donald Trump are supposed to meet in North Korea. And North Korea is really synced up to the moon. You know, Kim Jong-un even met with the South Korean leader, whose name is Moon Jae-in or Moon Jae-in, however you pronounce it. His name is Moon. And think about World War and Hawaii. And we have the volcano stuff going on with Hawaii that was all synced up to the moon. Hawaii became a state on the same day that we got the Great American Eclipse. And the last time that we had a total solar eclipse that was seen in the United States, it was only seen in Hawaii in the year 1991. The word space equals 91. Rockets equal 91. Apollo equals 91. 91 was the year the Cold War supposedly came to an end. Think about that in regards to rockets and missiles. You know? The word asteroid equals 91. Also, the 612 is interesting because we keep getting the stories of George Bush after his wife died in Houston, right? His wife dies in Houston, then he gets hospitalized in Houston. And yesterday, we got the story of him being hospitalized in Maine, but his birthday is 612. Just like David Rockefeller's birthday was 612. There's a bunch of 9-11 symbolism that is going on, and I'm going to make a whole separate video on that George Bush stuff, but... The word Valentine equals 612. Think about the Valentine's Day shooting this year. It was 612 days after the Pulse nightclub shooting in the same area. That Pulse nightclub shooting was on 612. And Prince Harry just got married. And, and right before the Pulse nightclub shooting, we had the Invictus Games that he created right in Orlando where the Pulse nightclub shooting happened. This number 612. Really important. And notice Alan Laverne Bean, his full name equals 612, and he dies six months, 12 days after the mission that he was on, Apollo 12, launched. His name, just Alan Bean, equals 50, and Alan Laverne Bean, the small equals 50. Apollo 12 equals 50. He's one of the guys to walk on the moon. Walk on the moon equals 166, just like Apollo 12. Just like Alan Bean in reverse. I mean, a perfect guy to be on Apollo 12 and a perfect guy to walk on the moon. It's all synced up by the numbers. What's interesting, too, in the post where I talked about the an astronaut of the moon missions dying this year, it was all about the number 50. It was about the Minnesota Twins. Minnesota Twins, even, I believe, last won the World Series in the year 91. But Twins equal 50. The word Challenger equals 50. So... That number 50 is really important. What's even more interesting is, you know, I'm telling you, we live in some type of world code where there's synchronicity and signs and symbolism every day. And there's just people who understand this knowledge a lot better and they know how to manipulate it and they know how to rule over people with it because it exists all around us. If you pay enough attention, it's everywhere. But on the same day that this guy died, I documented at 3.03 in the morning, I guess, which was probably 1.03 because for some reason this blog's on Pacific time, but 
May 26th, early in the morning, before I even knew Alan Bean died, I talked about how there's a synchronicity with the Houston Rockets. I documented a whole, about, a whole lot about last year, and the space theme has been going on for a couple of years now, but the <laughs> it, it's long and hard to explain, but moral of the story on this blog, I talked about my cousin Chris, whose last name is Houston, that looks a lot like Houston, Chris Houston. But it's Chris Houston. But what was interesting was that I talked about the death of my best friend's brother and the death of my uncle last year. And then my cousin Timmy, who's the only Rockets fan I know. And then his dad just died the same day as Barbara Bush. And his other son was the only Eagles fan I've ever met in my entire life. Right? So he's the only Eagles fan I know. The Eagles win the Super Bowl. Then his dad dies. My grandma, our grandma died earlier in the year on Eagle Street, a bunch of other stuff. But what I pointed out was that my best friend's brother's middle name was Alan, and my cousin Timmy's middle name was Alan, and they were in a, when my best friend's brother died, he was with my cousin Timmy, so there was the Alan connection, and my uncle's middle name was also Alan. And I documented about this in the morning. And then later that day, I wake up and I see the death of a guy named Alan that is really significant to all of the stuff I've been talking about. So just how interesting, you know? So I'm just going to leave the video right there. There's a billion other things I could talk about, but I want to make some separate videos and try to make them a little bit shorter, hopefully. But just check out the links in the description if you really want to know more and I don't make videos. Just there's a link to my blog in there, and just come read through my blog. There's all kinds of things I've recently documented. You know, there's all kinds of stuff with the Warriors going on, the Warriors and the Rocket stuff. We even had the story of Sterling Brown being arrested, right? Sterling Brown, the Milwaukee Bucks player. The Milwaukee Bucks, if you remember, were the team who upset the Golden State Warriors uh, streak in the beginning of the season, the year that they lost to the Cavs, they were 16 and 0, and then the Bucks upset them, and the Rockets this year just so happened to upset the War the Warriors' home game win streak at 16 and 0 as well in the playoffs, 16 and 0 home playoff streak, and the Bucks upset their 16 and 0 beginning of the season record. So something to keep in mind, but. You know, whatever. Like I said, I'm going to end the video and make it short. And hopefully I'll just make some other videos in regards to each of these separate topics. So, have a good one. Peace. Please learn to apply this for yourself. And, you know, so we can learn more from each other. And hopefully be able to use this in a positive way at some point And quit being ruled over with it. So, have a good one.